Hello everybody, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. I am just going to be kind of messing around today, so I thought I would chat with you a little bit. Little Miss is sitting on the bed and she is playing on the tablet. Yes, I do let my kids seldomly play on the tablet. Um, so you might hear her in the background. She's playing a match game, which is super cute. Maybe I can show you actually. I do see that. I'm trying to show them what you're playing with. So she plays the match game on here, right? You do say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yep. So, and then she's also got this little book right here that she's been drawing in. I draw in it too. I kind of um, just, you know, I used to do a lot of doodles in there, but I let them draw all over my stuff as well. So there's that. Okay, so now that you're back up here, I recently just got this. This is a Sojourner, and it is a pocket size. I need a new one. It is a field note size, not pocket. I don't know. I don't really understand that. Shh, no, that's the only one you get, okay? Okay, so I don't really understand pocket or field note, so offhand, and my phone is my has Google on it. So, uh, but a field note size is the same as what I made this journal in. Um, so this is just, it's actually watercolor paper and I have bound it. I kind of roughed up the edges a little bit cause I don't know, I wanted to try it. And I'm gonna put this in here and this is going to be part of my new like travel, um, travel journal kind of situation. When I say travel journal, I mean like, I seldomly go to the park or whatever and take these B6 monsters. Like, <laughs> I think they're big. Um, but if I'm gonna be sketching out, I wanna take something. So this is like the perfect size and I have been using Pentelic sketchbooks and not to say that they're bad, but I like my own. I don't like the glue problem. I know I've talked about this many times on my channel, but, and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. When you have, when you have a hand bound or a um, journal that you've bought, a lot of times when you open it up, and of course I open it up to a sewn part, but in between each signature, and what I mean by signature is groupings of paper, they have glued it. And so when I open it up to the in between, this right here, is glue and so when I go to paint over it, it just irritates me because obviously watercolor is not going to adhere to it. And so it irritates me. So that's why I started making my own books. Now with my own books, because I don't use the glue, there is a bit of a space here, but I'd rather have a space than glue. So <laughs> anyway, I thought that instead of buying the books, I could just use my paper that I have already, which I have a lot of, and I could shove it in this guy, and this could be my travel sketchbook. And I'm really excited about this idea because I have a bunch of like old paper that I can easily fold up and turn into a notebook. And yeah, so I'm gonna give that a go. Once my Pentalic sketchbook is done, which those sketchbooks take me a while to get through because I don't, you know, when I do go to the park, <laughs> um, my kids aren't old enough that they really play all by themselves too much. Now it's getting a lot better, but it hasn't been amazing because they are just four and two. So you have to give them some credit. <laughs> they wanna swing the whole time, you know? So anyway, this is gonna be eventually, probably, I'll probably get into this maybe in August. I know that's a pretty far ways away, but I wanted to make a journal for it and see how it fits in there and see how it opens. And I really wanted to try a Sojourner notebook um, because I am not enjoying how this, uh, I don't know if I can really show you, how this Huggable is patinaing patina ing is that even a word anyway see how it kind of looks like it's dirty i'm sure it is dirty like let's be real but um i'm just not liking how it's patina ing or how it's getting that patina on it 
So yeah, I love this leather because I love that it's like, it's called a huggable for a reason. It really hugs your journals. So anyway, there's that. I wanted to try out her folios, just see how it works, how it kind of, whatever, you know what I mean. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have, I finished this journal finally, and I have some things to paint. Now I've already scanned these, all these sketches in to my computer as black and white. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paint them just to see what I like, what it, what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I have this, this, I think I'll probably leave this page as is because I kind of like the swatches on it. And then I'll have, you know, all of these pages. So if you wanna hang out with me, um, you can. I just watched Leanne's video of her like chatting as she worked and I really enjoyed it. Like, I don't know. I mean, I always think it's awkward chatting, I guess, um, as you do things because you're talking to yourself, but she like is amazing at talking to herself. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. That's to me a good thing because you know, then the video is not boring, but I'm going to see if I'm just as good. We will see. Hang on. This is going to be loud. I'm moving a bag. I have a bag full of like scrapbooking or journaling stuff that I want to give to pen pals, but guess what? I don't really have any pen pals, so there's that. Or the pen pals I do have, they wouldn't appreciate those, I don't think. You know, you know, they everyone has their own style. So yeah. I am running out of yellow ochre in my Schminka palette and I'm really sad because I like this yellow ochre a lot better than I like the Daniel Smith so and I have no idea if it's hard or not to order from Schminka but I like because I've never done it I just think it's hard well harder than going to the store you know in my town and grabbing the yellow ochre tube of Daniel Smith so yeah, I have no idea if it's hard to order, but, and I don't, like, I feel kind of bad because I'm just ordering one color. Um, I do like this cobalt teal. <laughs> so sorry. Um, yes? Oh, cool. Um, I do like this cobalt teal color. However, I'm not a fan of the texture that is left on the page when I do like a heavier wash with it. It is Daniel Smith and so I would probably be interested in maybe picking up, I don't know, I just, because it's new and I've never done it before, I always think it's hard. I'm kind of like a introvert in that way, like, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. If, if I've never done it before, I'm scared. Like food, for instance. If I've never eaten it before, I get nervous and I don't want to try it because what if I don't like it? For instance, my husband, before we had kids, we would go out to dinner. Yes, before we had kids, <laughs> we actually went out to dinner. Now, not so much. Uh, but um, he would tell me, like, I could not order certain things because that's. I would go to, like, a fancy restaurant and order chicken strips <laughs> so yeah he was like can you please order something else like try something on the menu but I was always scared because I didn't like what if I didn't like it they're not gonna give you a refund you know like they they're gonna say well oh, sorry you ordered it and I wanted to be full when I left I'm not one of those girls that just eats salads and says oh okay thanks no I want to I want to eat So one of these brushes, it's kind of annoying, is like loose right here. So sometimes it like falls off. Does anyone else have a problem with silver black velvet brushes? So when I'm painting these, I don't want to add too much color. Like I don't want to, I don't want it to be a finished painting, but I want it to look finished. Does that make sense? So um, I'm just kind of going in with a little bit of color, not too much, 
and uh, it should be rather quick as far as like me painting these so I'm hoping that I can get them scanned and then in a printable for you guys. Oh, I think I mentioned in my last video that I was thinking about doing like a, uh, the, the flower printable, strictly all flowers. Uh, so yeah, I think actually it'll be more than just one because I'm doing a whole month of flowers. <coughs> Man. The whole month of flowers, uh, meaning on Instagram, I have been documenting or like kind of posting my daily sketches over there. And the uh, challenge that I'm following right now to do the 100 days of ballpoint pen is uh, the Hobonichi challenge. They are doing a challenge of flowers. And so I thought that it would be really cool to, um, to participate. I used to participate in the Hobo Challenge all the time um, when I had a Hobonichi, but I kind of got, got out of it. And so I thought, um, let's see what they're doing. So that way it keeps me motivated. And I was really excited to see that they were doing flowers because I'm kind of obsessed lately. And I kind of blame Heba because Heba from um, my little journal, because she is really obsessed with flowers. Now, I'm just talking away, aren't I? When I think of flowers, I don't think of like too girly, you know, but, or always having to be pink, but I do really yeah, like yeah. the flowers. Okay, so that one's done. Moving over to this one. I was going to do this one in pink after I just talked about not doing a pink flower, but um, I really think this rem this flower reminds me of someone, and she's a friend of mine over on Instagram, and she loves pink, so I'm going to do it for, not really for her, because I don't even know if she likes this flower, but since it reminds me of her, I'm doing it. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking like a the darker, like a more uh, concentrated pigment and I'm putting it on my brush and then I'm putting it on those areas and then what I'll do is I'll clean off my brush and get it kind of damp and then just kind of scrub at that layer that I laid down and it'll blend it all out. So, and that's why I really, really love this paper. This is the Strathmore Mixed Media paper is because I feel like it's pretty forgiving when you're working with watercolor. Um, if you were to do that with regular watercolor paper, I don't think that it reactivates as well because the watercolor kind of like seeps into the paper, which is good in its own way but not how I want to paint in my sketchbook. Does that make sense? Um, I really like to be able to, to play around with colors and lift and take off. And I just feel like this paper is it for that kind of thing. You know, it just takes a lot. It takes a beating and it's strong about it. So that's why I like it so much. But I like this, the uh, Tomo River paper for, almost the same thing. It's just not as strong because it is so thin. With the Tomo River paper, I love it because it can easily, I can lay down some color and I can come back and I can reactivate it days later. Like it could be days. Um, and then, you know, I can reactivate it and I can blend it out. But the only thing with the Tomo River paper is it can't take much, that much of a beading. You know, it is really thin. So I give it props for the beading that it does take, but just not as much of a beating. I'm sure you understand, especially if you are Tomo River paper lovers. Are you watching them make crayons? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite ones. On Mr. Rogers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love when they made the crayons.
What? What's your favorite color? Um, blue and pink. Blue and pink? Mm -hmm. Those are good colors. Okay, so we got some color down there. And get some color on the leaves. I have been really loving this color lately. I feel like it's kind of one of those colors that can go with any color. I've been pairing it a lot with olive green and I just really like it. And I don't think most people would put those two colors together and I don't think I would have either, but it looks really good. This is that cobalt teal. And I think it's gonna be cool in a printable because then you don't have to feel the, the grit of cobalt teal on your page. But you still get the color. Unless you don't, unless you like grit. Some people like that. So I'm going back into it when it's wet. And what it does is it'll kind of like bloom out or bleed, however you want to say it. And I like that effect. And I will probably exaggerate it even a little bit more. So I'll wet my brush and I will just pull it. And this is also a way to like blend it out so you don't see the bleeding. And I'm not trying to make the, it a perfect blend here. I like the, I like to be able to see um, some movement in the piece. And for me, movement it not only comes from the object that you're drawing, but also you being able to see brush strokes, not just like a clean illustration, like something done on the computer almost. So. Yeah. All right, that one's done. This one should be dry, because I didn't put that much on. And, oh, I wanna make this a little darker, I think. Just give it some dimension. Hi. Hi. What you doing? Can you come on this side? There's more table over here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna turn this down, okay? I'll move this stuff for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You gonna watch? Okay. Actually, can you step back a minute? Get out this dryer. Okay. I'm gonna blow it first. Okay, blow it. Oh, thank you very much. Don't touch this. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Do Don't do touch that. anything. Okay. Do do no, nope, it stays there. Why? Because in case I need to use it later. Okay. Okay. Now. Now you can paint a little bit again. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to make this one yellow. What? Yeah. What do you think about that? It can do two. Two yellows? Yeah. Okay. Let's give that a go. We'll start with the light one, right? Because then we can always get darker and we don't want to do too much because we want to be able to see the white space because white space is important to us, right, Missy? That one. Okay, okay we'll do that one in a little bit. Reds. Oh, but we're just going to paint this one yellow, right? Yeah. Okay. Glad and then the other colors. <laughs> Are we on the same one, page here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 11, 18. 11? I've never heard of 11. Teen. Do you just mean 11? Yeah. Okay, just check. That one. Yeah. We're going to put smush this down closer to the bottom because that's where our dark lines were. And yeah. some of these are still wet, so it will bleed or bloom, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Yay! Hey, you're stepping on my toes. Sorry. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
black. Six black? I don't think that's black. I think that's brown. Um, purple. And this one. And pink? Yeah, purple and pink. Uh huh. Then black. Yeah. See that one? Then that Let's one. Let's do the middle orange. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So I just kind of dabbed it on there, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a damp brush, and when I say damp, I kind of dink, like dunk it in the water, scrape it off, and then only uh, press it on the towel on one side, and then I start moving these things around. And again, I want to keep some white space. I like that look, so that's what I'm going for here. What are you making? Um, I don't know, but he's putting salt in that, isn't he? So, we'll color in this. I think that one's done. Okay. What color should I make this one? Purple, um, you said earlier? Purple. Purple? No, like pink. Let's try purple. Here's purple and Thank this you. is pink. Okay, good. Good idea. Yeah, that's purple. Okay. Perfect. Get some purple going. Yeah. Then okay. that one. Pink. You want a little bit of pink on the tips, maybe? Right there. It's pink right here. You're right. Yeah. Let's put a little bit of pink on the tips, okay? Here's, here's pink. It's one it of those faded flowers. This, you can do the pink and this pink. Well, I just used that pink. Is that okay? Mm -mm. It's not? <laughs> okay. Well, maybe next time I'll use that, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you chewing gum? You got some gum in your mouth? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I think that one's done too. Yeah, I think that one's done. I think I'm going to leave these. No, I can't. <laughs> no, 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 don't close it. I'm still using it. What color do we want to make these eyes? I don't think I made a brown eye yet, so I think I'm going to go you this one for the brown eye. two greens. Oh, green eye and a brown eye? I want to make them brown like yours. Okay. So, I'm going to put yellow on the inside. Okay. And okay. then, where's the light brown? get some of this and we'll put it on the outside you might have to get a little darker because it's looking almost the same color as the yellow ochre yeah yeah where's the yellow ochre it's by the yellows but it's the really dark yellow can you point it out this one that's the yellow, but where's the really dark yellow? Is this the dark one? No, it's this one right there. Dark red. Dark yellow. I think that's black. Wrong color. Oh, wait, hey, is this brown? This is brown. Yeah. Cool. So you just gotta add some brown in here. Then this one, then that one, and the uh, green one. Why do you want to do green eyes? And this one, and this one, and this one. And do, do these. Why do you want to do green eyes? Because I want to. Well, who has green eyes? You. I do. So you can do green. Are you looking at them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brown two. eyes. You want to do the green one on top? Watch out. This green and that green? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That one goes right... Look where I'm doing it. I'm right going to do it here. Okay. You can use this green. Which one? That one. Okay. Can, can you do it right now? No. 
I just did. I don't know if this will show up actually on the print, but I'm kind of using some titanium white. Or is it buff? I think this is buff. Mm. To make the eyes not look so white, because a lot of times they can look real white. Mm. And let's get a big brush. Oh. And we'll add some skin tone up in there. Okay, All right. That's fun. I think with this one, I'm going to paint this back triangle a solid color. And again, guys, I'm obsessed with this cobalt teal. So I think I'm gonna do it here. And then I think the leaves are gonna be green. Like I said earlier, I have been really enjoying the cobalt teal, adding it into the mix of my three favorites. My three favorites are, and maybe some of you already know this, so if you do, tell me in the comments. And I will also leave my three favorites in the description box for you. And then you tell me if you were right. That'll be fun. Okay, so we got that going. And then we'll take a small brush and we'll get some olive green or sap green, kind of whichever one you have, because they are very similar um, in tone, like the tone of them, but like olive green is a little darker. So yeah, this is sap green. I don't have my other palette with me at the moment, and I just have sap green in this case. Case, watercolor palette, whatever. Ooh, I really like that. So when I was drawing this, I went ahead and touched it to see if it was dry and I got some green over here. And this is exactly why I love this paper because I can reactivate it, get that green off, and then I can go ahead and take my brush and repaint this area. And for the most part, you'll never know. If you didn't see me mess up, you would never ever know. Voila. I really like this too, how um, I didn't blend it out and I have this line that'll be cool to cut around if you're uh, printing your prints on, well, really anything, but um, I'm thinking, for some reason I'm thinking if you print it on sticker paper, it's gonna look, it's gonna look exactly the same. What am I thinking? Okay, next one. So I think with this one, I'm just going to color in this triangle or maybe this circle. I think I'm going to do both and then I think I'm going to be done. Yeah. Um, I might actually... I a paintbrush for it. Thank you. I might actually color these little leaf things in, but as for now, I don't want to. I think that it'd be cool to leave those. You can do a big one. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a big one. But I don't know what color and I think I'm going to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'm going to do pink. And, Yay, pink. <laughs> and orange. What? Yep. I think the pink is going to go back here. Can I do it on this? No, I'm not, I don't want to paint the flowers in this one. Why? Because I want to paint the background. Okay. Okay. I'm going to paint the background pink and then I'm going to paint the circle orange. What? Yeah, you like that idea? Mm-hmm. You do? Okay, good. Okay, so I gotta get on it. When you were done little... painting, I want to paint. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Or, I want my pink. Where's pink? Where's pink in mine? 
Well, yours isn't over here. Yours is probably in the kitchen. No, mine's up, up there. Uh, where? My paint is up. Oh. oh, it's in the family room. Yeah. Up on the on the shelf. Yeah. Yeah. It's put away. You put it away, or did I? Me. You did. What a good girl. And why are you doing pink again? Okay, so this triangle, the whole triangle, I want to paint pink. Oh. Remember? And then what am I going to paint the circle? Do you remember that? Yeah. What color? Um, pink. No. What am I going to paint the circle? Um. Oops. I'll have to Photoshop that out. I got why some is, on the Why is your the orange in here? You do remember. Good girl. Why is it orange in here? Up here. And here's the orange. You do remember, huh? Good job. Don't bump me. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. So we got the pink on. Back up. <laughs> I have not Here's stopped sneezing. Orange. What's up with that? Yeah, that one. This one? Yes. Um, oh, whoops. I think I'm going to do a really light wash of orange because I did the heavy pink. So. Behind it. Oh, yeah, that side too? Yeah. So for this printable, since I have already scanned them in uh, their black and white, like the first stage, they will be available black and white and color. So you can choose which one you want. Um, yeah, and most of my printables are full, complete full sheets, and I like to be able to make certain, like, make each item a couple different sizes for you because I think that's fun. Um, but if you guys have suggestions on how I'm doing my printables or if you have any ideas or something you'd like to see, I'm open to all suggestions. You can either hit me up on Instagram uh, by sending me a private message or you can leave it in the comment section if you'd like. Whatever you choose, I don't care. This one is gonna just stay the color it is, the color it is black and white, so I'm gonna dry this. These are not flowers, as you can see, and I think the moon's gonna stay. I have a couple more left. So this will probably not obviously be on the flower to uh, printable. I'll probably add these to the other eye ones. And I don't know, I don't know if I wanna add color. It's so hard to decide sometimes, but luckily, like I, like I said before, I at least already printed them or scanned them. So let's just keep going. Maybe I'll do this in two parts, cause I'm pretty sure this is long. This is why I never do real-time chatty videos, because I feel like it's, I don't get very much accomplished. And I think Leanne said this today too, but I feel like I don't get very much accomplished for you guys to be able to like actually see and gather inspiration. So, but I think this is gonna be a long one. So I think after I'm done with this, I think we'll just call it. All right. Hey, miss, can you tell them bye? Bye. Say, see you next time, everybody. See you next time, everybody.